Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're gonna be going through the artifacts. Now, a lot of people have asked me to do like an artifact video, talking about them and the different units you can use them on and where they make a difference. So that's pretty much what this video is gonna be. We're gonna go through all the artifacts, talk about them, and then also because we do have the Voyage at the moment, which is giving you an option to upgrade one of them. I think it's this one here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about which one I'd be using those on as well at the end. So let's get into the video. Kicking it off, we're gonna start with Jura's Grace. I'm pretty sure that's the first one you get. Um, I will leave probably timestamps to each each artifact in this if you're just looking for a specific one and then like another timestamp for when I talk about which one I'd upgrade. But Jura's Grace, first of all. Okay, the first thing to consider when you're looking at these artifacts is not only the effects they give, but also the, the stat boost that they give as well. Because the stat boost is often quite important with some of them. So, this is giving 12 dodge, 10 and HP. Not, not Nothing to, to shy away from. This is upgraded to level two. I can't remember the base levels, but it's giving you dodge and HP. Um, and basically when you activate this, uh, when you activate your ultimate, it's gonna give you a shield. Um, now, this one is really, really nice for tanks. Not so much Lucius because when he uses his ultimate, it is a shield and you're gonna be getting that shield anyway. Um, think other things that like, basically anything that gives you immunity during their ultimate, for instance, this isn't great on Tassie because Tassie is gonna put enemies to sleep for five seconds and have that shield for five seconds, but she's gonna be taking no damage. There are situations where maybe it might come in handy um, if you got something like a Warwick that's gonna be immune and Tassie's, but like very niche situations. So this one's basically for I'd say tanks and supports that you just want to, you know, be able to survive like when they get their ultimate. For instance, sometimes um, niche one as well, Nomura sometimes. But if your team's to if she's already topped off, it's going to be a waste because her overheal shields as well. But different things, mainly tanks, sometimes supports. Just put it on them. It gives them that extra tankiness. Um, even sometimes a hero that's going to get attacked by a Sylvina. Um, if you can get them to survive to their ultimate, then pop the pop their ultimate. Get the shield they have that extra dodge and hp which means they might mitigate a bit of damage stuff like that so that's where you want to be using that it's an okay one it's not not the best uh artifact that you will find the next one we'll look we'll just go in order that they fall on my screen even though this isn't the order that you do get them the next one we're going to look at is the blade now this is definitely a dps item um and for me this one is for Basically, it's more for guild hunts and long fights. You want to put it on your main DPS. Um, we're going to talk about two, and we'll talk about Jura's Eye quickly as well, because this is the other main DPS one that you'll get until very, very late game when you get the final DPS one. But um, Jura's Blade is basically the one that you're going to use in long fights on your main DPS, and Jura's Eye is going to be the one that I'd recommend you use in shorter fights. So, back to Jura's Blade. Um, it gives you accuracy, it gives you attack. Uh, once the battle begins, attack rating increases by 1% every 3 seconds. Um, and pretty much, that's why you want to use it in long fights. Things like uh, Riz and Sauron, you know, put it on your main DPS, which in this case is going to be my Shamira, because they're going to get a, more, a greater attack increase over that period, and then they're going to do more damage towards the end of it. That's a really nice one. Um, pretty much, that's, that's all there is to it. Put it on your main attacker when it's a long fight. When it's... When it's a shorter fight, you'll probably put the eye on your main attacker and then put this on your secondary attacker. Or you can even just scrap it all together and use other artifacts if you've got five others. Moving on to Jura's Eye. Now, this is the one, like I said, in shorter fights, in most campaign fights and stuff like that, I'd probably put this on my main attacker, especially things that have just high crit rate. Things like Belinda, who buffs crit rate. Uh, my Shamira is sitting at about 50 uh, crit rate at the moment, which is pretty nice. So anything like that, this is really going to benefit because when you do crit, you get the attack speed increase, which is really nice. Um, and then obviously when you max this one out, you're going to get the extra critical strike damage, which is just just completely nice all round uh, for attackers. So shorter fights, this one. Longer fights, I look at uh, the Jura's Blade as a general guide. The next one, Jura's Call. And this is probably my favorite artifact in the game because it can change battles so much depending on who you put it on. So this one restores energy um, at level two, it's 14 energy per second, uh, goes up to, I really do like the final skill up on this one. The final skill up is really nice. It's 16 energy per second. 
Um, and if you get killed, the hero gets killed, all their energy will be shared among your other allies, meaning it's a boost no matter what happens. Sometimes you put this on something, you know, they get so close and don't pop their ultimate, but hey, if they die, they're gonna share it with everyone else. So this is a really nice one. But the other thing to consider for this is the, the haste that it gives. So if, if we look up here at the MSPD, that's uh, movement speed, yeah. <laughs> haste basically it makes your hero move faster which means if you come up against a team where you have a mirror match of something like uh i don't know an arden versus versus an arden or you know you've got yourself a namora that you're trying to um to get or something like that so say against my with my namora there's another namora on the other team uh and we just keep mind controlling and i get mind controlled first every time if i put the jurors uh Jura's uh, call on my on my Nomura there, she will actually probably get the attack first, depending on things like if they have a Lyca, different haste buffs, but your speed is what counts on whether you get your CC off first, and this is why it can completely change. Uh, for instance, just on my other account, on my Gwyneth account, I was using a Hendrick, which I don't even think I have a Hendrick on this account. Uh, no, I do not. Okay, I was using my Hendrick. Let's find Hendrick just so if people don't know who he is, there he is. So I was using him, basically he has a knockback. I was fighting against an Estrilda and she just kept knocking me back first. I put Jura's Call on him, he managed to knock her back before she could do the knockback on me. So it, it can apply to any hero. So if you are stuck on a stage, this is a great artifact just to swap around all your heroes and it can just change the RNG of a fight and completely turn it around. So it's absolutely amazing in that sense. The other sense that it's amazing is that if we scroll back here, what do we? Oh, we're on light bearers. Rip. So the other spot where it is amazing is that just the the energy generation. So it can actually change the order that you use your ultimates on your heroes, and when you're changing the the order that your ultimates happen, it can really change the synergy of the match. So it, it works in both ways. It works in a fight where you're not really getting to your ultimates because you're getting killed too quick. It can change that RNG. Maybe clutch you will win. Or if you're getting to your ultimates, but then once you ultimate, it's just failing because of synergy, it can change the sink sinking of that. So that is a fantastic artifact. I definitely love it. It's one of my favorite ones to use. The next one we're going to look at is Jura's Drape. Um, so this one is basically just your general tank one, increases health recovery rate. This is good on anything that sort of gets healed a lot. Um, gives you it gives you defense as well at the start. So... Things like, uh, I feel like this would be really good on uh, the tree, on Almus. People always have a go at me for not calling him Almus, but hey, he's the tree. Leave me alone. <laughs> so he'd go, go good on the tree because the tree has that passive recovery that's always ticking and just increasing that would be really nice. Um, other things, like I like this one on Lucius as well, uh, just because, like I said, the other one, um, sometimes I do put the horn on the, t I always call it the horn, but Jura's Call, I sometimes put on Lucius as well to get him to shield earlier. But this one is another good one because often he's going to be healing himself with his shield and also his secondary heal. So it's basically on anything that's going to be getting healed a lot. Um, you basically want to put it on them to increase their healing. That's pretty much, pretty much the gist of that one. That's fairly, fairly basic. Uh, the next one we're going to go on, and this is one you get fairly later on, um, and that is going to be the Vitality. Now, this is another really good one because it gives a good, good chunk of HP, it gives a good chunk of defense as just stat bonuses, but then it also restores 1% health per second um, from the start of the battle. And then once you max it out, max it out, it becomes 1.5%, which is really nice, but it's just that good steady heal to help your heroes. Now, options for this one is obviously your tanks. Your tanks are taking a lot of damage at the start of the battle, really good to put them on. Other options are if a hero is going to get attacked by an Athalia and you can't avoid it, or a uh, or a uh, which call it Sylvina and you can't avoid avoid it. Um, you know your back row squishy heroes that are getting sniped by these type of heroes. If you put it on them, it's really going to help them sustain. It gives them those tanky stats that they need to sort of survive it, and then also it's going to be restoring their HP. Hopefully, get them to survive it until you can get some ultimates that help you out, or get you know get something in your team that's going to get that hero off of them. So. That's the two main places. So basically your tanks to, you know, just keep them alive at the start. And then obviously uh, for those back row heroes that are getting it sniped. I, I like using this on um, on my, whatchamacallit, 
Grizzle, because Grizzle is one of those ones like I love the fact that his um, his skeletons when they die he gets healed. However, until he gets some skeleton out, skeletons out, he really struggles to survive. So putting this on him means that he's gonna get that HP regeneration earlier on and survive until his skeletons do come out. Then they start getting killed and it just starts things ticking. So um, that, that's like a prime example of a hero I like using it on because it's pretty much just those first few seconds of the battle until his like pretty much until the ultimates is when he really struggles and this really helps him get that health regeneration happening for that as well so that is vitality really nice and then the last one which i haven't actually unlocked on this account yet is going to be conviction now this is your final dps one i've actually i'm up to the uh voyage i just i mean not the voyage the peaks i just haven't done it on this one um, but this one's going to be really nice as well. It gives you some attack, some crit. Uh, basically, where this one's going to be really good is when you max it out. So uh, it basically just increases the wearer's attack rating uh, when there are no nearby enemies. So it's it's not for melee attackers. This one is more for um, more for ranged attackers. However, you could use this on a melee attacker just to disrupt the enemy once you have it maxed out. Because um, when you have it maxed out, it unleashes a shockwave every 15 seconds that knocks knocks back any nearby enemies. So if your hero is in the back row, um, not near any enemies, it's going to lose that effect. However, if they do get onto that back row hero, it's going to be very handy. Um, something like... Okay, something obviously like Gwyneth comes to mind because, you know, she, she she gets her extra buffs from her passive when she's in the back row. So it's really nice to be knocking enemies back, keeping that distance. Um, but yeah, like I said, you could even put this on a melee attacker because then they're right up there. Every 15 seconds, it's really going to disrupt the enemy's line. It's going to cause interrupts for the knockback, and it could be really good. So um, like I said, you lose the, the, the base attack rating, but it's not too high anyway. Um, and basically you do get that knockback, which is really nice. So very usable on ranged or melee, um, but primarily I think it was meant for ranged attackers that have melee on them so that they can knock it off. Pretty much is the gist of that one. I do kind of prefer the other two at the moment, but like I said, I haven't actually got this one, so I haven't done functional testing with it yet, but in theory... I just, I, I like the other two. However, saying that, in a short fight, if you have two main damage dealers, I'd probably go with this one and uh, and the eye and get rid of the blade because in short fights, the blade isn't going to bring enough oomph to it. Yes, oomph. <laughs> that's the best one I could come up with at the time. So that's going to be that one. Now, we're going to talk about which one I would upgrade. Uh, for most players, I'm going to recommend upgrading Jurors Call. Simply because you get it very early on. So, you know, if, if you're early on and you get all those upgrade tokens, you want to be using it on something. So Jura's Call is really nice in that upgrading it to any star is going to be really nice, even just upgrading it to one star because you get the stat boost and that speed is always going to be nice. Um, secondly, it's restoring energy. So you get it up to that, that two star, you get the energy, the extra four energy per second. It's really, really nice. And then also moving even further down the track, if you get this one maxed out, it's absolutely amazing for all of your team. Um, because like I said, you put it on something, even if they don't get their ultimate and they die, it's giving energy back. So this is the all round, just because I, I feel like there is no fight you will ever go into even once you have every single artifact that you're not gonna take this one into. It's just such a well-rounded artifact that can be used everywhere. So it is definitely the one that I would be spending my points on without a doubt in, in, in most circumstances. Now I'm going to talk about, it's pretty much, it's, it's up to you which one you want to upgrade. If you have one that you use a lot, go nuts. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be the end of the world. Eventually you will upgrade them. But for me, the one the one difference I have is on my, uh, on my Gwyneth account where I'm just focusing everything on Gwyneth. I want her to be an absolute beast. I'm going to upgrade the Juror's Eye purely because I want to get to that last upgrade where it gives haste uh, to 25% and critical strike damage because... My Gwyneth has so many has the passive that increases her crit rate and her crit damage. Um, she has such a high natural crit rate. Plus, this gives extra crit rate as a as a base stat on it. It's going to make her crit rate that much higher, and then also increasing her crit damage is going to make is going to be really nice for her. But on top of that, attack speed is everything for Gwyneth. Shooting those arrows faster is the most important thing, and that's why that is the one I'm going to upgrade on that account. But in general, if you're not sure, if you're early game, not sure, I think Jurors Call is the one I would go for because it's just so well-rounded. Well it's good. 
on anyone. It can change the tide of battle with any hero basically so that's the one i'd go for let me know in the comments below what you guys reckon um sorry this one was a bit of a boring ish video because it was just looking at artifacts the whole time but hey the video had to be made because people wanted it so so that is going to be it for this one let me know once again what you guys think in the comments below but thanks for watching and i'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers